We're going to reflect together on Jesus, the Redeemer. But first, some verses from Luke 23. Two other men, both criminals, were also led out to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him there, along with the criminals, one on his right and the other on his left. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and save us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence. We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he turned and said to Jesus, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. I remember as a boy growing up in Salford, asking my parents why a local shop had three large golden balls hanging from a bracket over the doorway. I was told, it's a sign that it's a pawnbroker's shop. Much later, I learned of the importance of the pawnbroker in that poor community in the harsh times of the 1920s and 1930s when my parents were growing up. At that time, when people were in a mess and couldn't afford to pay the rent, put food on the table, or pay the doctor's bill. They would take one of their few treasured possessions to the pawnbroker and he would give them the value of the things that they had taken. But there would be an agreement that they could redeem them or get them back if they paid the price of the goods within a certain time. Sadly, most items were never redeemed. Jesus came as our Redeemer. When we are in a mess because of our selfishness, our greed, our pride, our weakness, we lose our connection with the living God and a price has to be paid to get back what we have given away. That price was paid on the cross at Calvary. The cross where love and justice meet, where the debt of all humanity is balanced by the love of a dying saviour. There, Jesus hangs, arms outstretched, aching for the lost to return to the loving Father who was prepared to pay the price of his own son to bring us back to him. On either side of Jesus hang two thieves hovering between life and death. One of them sees forgiveness, love and compassion in the face of such barbarous cruelty. He turns to Jesus and he says, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And so amidst the jeers of the religious leaders and the mocking crowd who cry for him to save himself, if he really is the king of the Jews, he turns to redeem and to save, not himself, but the criminal who's crucified by his side. Some of his very last words are spoken to a common thief. Today, you will be with me in paradise. 
even in this agonising moment, the man sees in Jesus no hatred, no scorn, no judgment. Instead, he sees just one thing, forgiveness. The price is paid. He is redeemed. And all he had to do was to turn to Jesus. We don't know anything about this thief, but we can assume that he didn't know a lot about theology. But he did recognise in the dying Jesus that he was a king and that his kingdom was not part of this world. He also saw that the king had power to redeem and bring even the most unworthy into his kingdom. Isn't it amazing that in the midst of all the humiliating abuse and the excruciating pain on the cross, he's able to show an unworthy criminal the riches of heaven. Now let's pray. But first, let's just be still for a moment and picture the image of Jesus looking with compassion into the eyes and the hearts of the man crucified by his side. Lord Jesus, as that thief on the cross turned to you, he saw a redeemer paying the price for all the wrongs he'd ever done. So we turn to you now, recognising our unworthiness, but giving thanks for your amazing grace and mercy. Amen. Amen.